that I guess leads me to the topic I guess of why it is I am doing this or why I decided to emulate if you will Norda 13's video blog I kind of look at it as I ride my motorcycle a great deal everywhere I burn countless hours doing it and that's why I have pretty decently high mileage for someone who's only been riding for about since uh, what, the start of July that's when I took my MSF course and I've covered over 10,000 miles since then and I even had one crash so I ride a lot and I keep thinking it's kind of a after a while it feels like a bit of a waste of time as fun as it is it's not like a good break from riding to really make me appreciate it and this one I think I'm getting bored of riding I get back on the bike and it's like it's, it's just as exciting as the first time I started riding Okay, so let's, uh, let me try and get back on topic. What was it? Oh, yeah. Why am I making videos? So yeah, so I'm spending a, I spent a lot of time writing my free time. And I've discovered that it's almost like rediscovering all the, the roads that I've gotten kind of used to riding. But now videoing and talking while I'm riding sort of adds this cool variation to the whole thing. That makes it kind of fun. So it just makes it seem like I'm using this time more effectively, I guess. Like once I've once I've found the road and I've ridden it, I sort of check it off the list. And so I say, okay, I've done that one. And I know where that is. So I, I kind of get bored easily. So I gotta keep finding some new way of keeping it interesting. So making these videos is sort of a way of making writing a little more interesting. Sometimes when I turn off the camera, like if I just rip out the camera completely and go writing, it's it's another kind of feeling because I don't really feel distracted or you know, I can see through the lower portion of my visor and I feel like a somewhat better situational awareness. And so it's just as fun to ride with a camera as without one. And the other reason I do these videos is because I kind of like to share what I've learned with people. Like I, I wouldn't say that I'm a really good teacher. In fact, I'm definitely not a good teacher. I get impatient with people who, haven't, who don't just magically know how to do stuff. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can really. I don't know. I, can't, I guess I lose track of how it is I even got to somewhere in terms of learning a new skill. But I kind of do like passing on information to anyone who's interested, especially when I recall when I first started writing. I was pretty much trying to get every bit of information I could about writing. I'd read lots of books, I'd just research what kind of bike I should get, try and figure out what would happen in the uh, training course. I would just, you know, eat it all up. And of course, I finally found some videos on YouTube and watched those, and those are kind of cool. And I always wish people would just make some videos of, you know, the Ninja 250, since that was the bike I wanted. And I have learned a lot about riding a motorcycle in the last few months. I'm still in that phase where you're just learning like crazy. 
where your rate of learning feels really high. So I know there's a lot of people out there who are probably thinking of riding a motorcycle or they want to know, hey, everyone tells me the Ninja 250 is a great starter bike, and what's, that, what's it like to ride one, what does it look like? And so I kind of make those, these videos also for the benefit of, the, of you know, new riders mainly, because I certainly have nothing to really pass on to uh, really experienced riders, since I'm not an experienced rider myself. I know that if I were someone else and a beginner at motorcycling, I think I would find these videos interesting. Especially if they had a lot of information about motorcycling in particular. Right, so that's why I like to make these videos. It's not like it's some sort of competition. I mean, there is no competition. It's just, uh, this is just like, to me, the L.A. branch of the organization of people who ride with cameras in their helmets, talking mostly to themselves and potentially to a few people on YouTube. This is the LA branch if Mordeth is the headquarters with the Taiwan branch. Anyway, that's the story I sort of made up for myself here. I'm sticking to it. But it is a lot of fun. <laughs>